just sorting my computer out. Uh, has it come through yet? Aha! Better turn that off. <laughs> I can hear myself talking. Hi Sylvia, hi Chris, we're getting there, slowly but surely, I'm late on tonight, I've got a new phone and nothing ever, nothing's ever straightforward when you have new tech, but we're here, we're here, right, I'm just going to see if I can just drop that down a little bit, hopefully. I'll not blind myself. Hi, Izzy. Right. I just had to nip downstairs as well because I'd not got my measurements. I'd left them downstairs like a silly billy. I'm just double checking myself. I have everything cut out, but I shall go through measurements with you. But I just want to make sure that's that one, that's that one. I'm just making sure I've written the right me measurements down. Because my little brain at the minute. Crunking. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Right, okie dokie, let's give it a whirl. Oh, I've got comments going up and down and up and down. Hi Renee, hi Ali, hi Shaz. Hi Maxine. Right. Let me get myself sorted. Okay, let's go for it. So, hello. Hello, good evening and welcome. Lorna Carter from Lorna Carter's Creations, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. Right, well, oh, I can chill now. I can sit and craft. <laughs> it's just been one of them days. I always have one of them days. Right. So this evening we're going to be creating this card. Seascape. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Love this. I am using um just bear with me. No, it's all right. I always get these two colours mixed up. It's Bermuda Bay, I believe, that's going. That's retiring. It's Coastal Cabana that's staying, hopefully. Oh, Izzy's got a oh, glass of grape flavoured water. Yes, right. I bet it's red <laughs> by chance. <laughs> I should have brought one up here with me tonight. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a mixture tonight. It's a crumb cake. I think this was a crumb cake. This could be a Sahara sand, actually. Um, no, it's crumb cake, I think. So we've got a crumb cake background. We've got Coastal Cabana um, cardstock. We're using... Barmy Blue Ink, Bermuda Bay Ink, while well, we've still got it, Sahara Sand Ink, while well, we've still got it, and Soft Suede. And that's it. That's all the colours. All the colours we're using tonight. So it's just a fairly simple card, but it's a fun fold and it's a great one. I love it. So the two um, stamp sets we're using, we're using Ocean Front. 
which is uh, in the new catalogue. It's carried over, so I'm really pleased with that. And Charming Sentiments, that is carried over as well, which I'm pleased about. So, let's get started. Put those to one side. I'll put the card up there. And I haven't got any stamps mounted up. Oh, Monty's just decided to come in the room, so beware. Okay, so the stamps we're using are the big one, that is the sky. The middle one, which is the sea. And then this is the land. So we're going to be using those three. So that is that one. On there. Oh, it's going in the window. You might keep quiet. It's gone in the window for now. Watching the birdies outside. We've got the sea. And we have the land. So that's those three. We need the reeds and the dotty one the dotty whoops the dotty stamp okay right let's get crafting let's get my little one for this oops so we'll get the stamping done first and i'm getting my Stamp and pierce mat because we're using photopolymer. And oh, I thought I'd uh, ha ha. Yes, Ali. This is what I. This is what I did when I first. I'll show you when I can get it. I put it in the cover. Just bear with me. I stamped a load out and i think it was on one of my previous um um previous videos which you'll be able to find on youtube well i'm not doing very well look now i'm i'm lethal so what i did i stamped a variety of combinations um just to see what's what looked best um and i kept my favorite two so which was balmy blue with bermuda bay as the sea and i quite like the pool party with the coastal cabana but obviously bermuda bay is going so we'll have to wait and see what new colors we have we will have another go and you know they look so, so much brighter on the screen than they do in real life there you go but that's what I did, just to have a play around, because I'm terrible with uh, remembering colours. I remember pool party, because that's my favourite. <laughs> I'm a pool party girl. Right. So, we have... I'll just leave... Stand my notepad up that has got all my sizes on. So Izzy has already made this card. Um, this is one of the cards that I made at my first. We made at my first class. So I've already got a pack here. So I'll go through the dimensions. Um, what I will do is go through. The US, um, I'll work it out um, for US measurements, um, but I'll do that after and I'll pop it on my description on my YouTube. Um, so we have a crumb cake base. This is um basically it, all i did was cut out half an a4 
and then I've cut half the front off but if you really want it in measurements it's 15.8 centimeters no yes sorry 14.8 centimeters by 15.8 okay and then we're going to score on the longest side which is this side and we're going to score at ten and a half so this is what we'd have ten and a half so that gives you the base card for this one so that's the base done so that's 15.8 by 14.8 scored at, on the 15.8 side at 10.5 that's base done okay then we have three pieces of coastal cabana so our first the largest piece is for the inside which is 9.5 centimeters by 14 centimeters <laughs> oh excuse me um so I, I had my yeah i got a new ruler look look pussycat paw print terrible not cat crazy really um so we've got 14 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters that is to go and as an inside layer like so if i do that i'm just i don't know that's it so then we've got another piece we'll go with the next longest piece which is for the front which is 4.5 centimeters by 14 centimeters and this piece is to go on the front like so okay and then this last piece this is 7.5 centimetres by 10 centimetres and this is for the image at the front but we also it's for one of the layers and just I am missing a piece but never, not to worry we should have two basic white pieces one for the inside which is nine centimeters by 13.5 centimeters that layer is to go on there and we will stamp on that um the sentiment and we're going to decorate the corner so that's for the inside and i do have a piece missing i might just have to cut just that me and just quickly cut this let's move that out of the way so the small piece of basic white needs to be seven centimeters by 9.5 centimeters just see what size that is yeah so if i go I'm just going to take the end off that because it's not very, not very straight. Right, so seven centimetres. Oops, wrecking the joint. Uh, nine point five. Is that square? Just gonna. I'm going to do it like this to make sure we get a square piece. 9.5 there we go so that piece is to go on the front like so maybe I have to tweak that down a bit but that's how that's a layer on the front okay so oh and the last piece is a crumb cake piece which is for the front so this piece that goes here of coastal cabana we have a piece of crumb cake that goes like that and that size is four centimeters by 13.5 centimeters 
Okay, so that's all the pieces. So let's do the stamping. Let's do the foam bit. Um, I'm just trying to find a read my printer. Right. So we're going to use the small, we're going to do the main image using that small piece of basic white. So we start with balmy blue. Balmy army. I'm just going to clean this. I think I've got kitty glitter. I've got a bit on there. Not something. That's it. Right. We'll see how we go. I'll just stamp it. I'm just going to stamp it down onto my scrap piece. Just on here. Yeah, well, I've got it upside down like a Nelly. All right, yeah, wants to be the other way. Okay, so with this piece in portrait mode, just going to re ink. And I'm just bringing it down. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. It just, it goes on nicely and steps off nicely. So let's go in like that. There we go. That is our sky. We can pop that one to the side. We're then going with Bermuda Bay and we're going with the sea. We'll try this. Just make sure. I don't think we've got kitty glitter on this. So I'm just going to, well, I missed a bit, I can see mystery ink in the middle. So if you just bear with me, I'll give it a good ink. I think we're ready to rock and roll. So we're just trying to line up that top edge. Doesn't matter if we overlap. There we go. There is our C. And I just, I love, I really do love how they've got the, the definition. With the, it looks like there's waves and distinct, is it, I think, I believe it is a distinctive, is it a distinctive stamp set? Right. Oh, it doesn't say the front but it's very i love it absolutely love it i love this ever since it first came out i love a good old seascape right now we're going in with sahara sand with the land that's it so we're just going to ink up our land this is a colour I'd be sad to see go. Sahara sand. I love Sahara sand and I love soft suede and Bermuda Bay. I love all the colours really. But we've got exciting new colours coming. Which is all good fun. Yeah, it's a great one this one. Chaz. Absolutely love it. Great, this stamp set's great for masculine cards as well as female cards, of course. Right, so now I'm going in with um, a little dotty stamp, as I call it, a little dotty. And all I'm going to do is we're just going to go over the sand. There we go, just to give it a little bit of texture. 
so I'm just gonna pop that to the side while we've got this colour out because the crumb cake piece we're going to stamp on we're going to give it a bit of well texture colour we're using the same stamp and all we're going to do is we're just going and putting texture doesn't matter how many times you go over with this one but I just want to fill that space it's all good you can move your stamp round just very simple if you've only got you know if you've only got sort of if you only bought this stamp set you can make you know so much from it i know it's only a seam but you know you can use your textures it just gives it you see you didn't have wouldn't have to go over it with that you could have gone over it with a different color so it maybe stood out a lot more okay so that's done with that for now so i'll put that to one side so we've done that piece that can go to one side right so now we need the soft suede and we're going to ink up our grass our whatever you want to call it And we're going to stamp, I'm going to stand up, <laughs> see what I'm doing. I'm just going to stamp in this corner. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp on the left, but I'm just going to stamp off. So we only get that little bit. Okay. So that is our stamping at the front. So if I pop that one to one side, see it's nice and simple, four colours, it's lovely. And I'm going to bring in our inside piece, our inside white piece. So we can stamp the corner and then the birthdays, birthday greeting okay so i should have done that while i'd i need that again just go back with the sahara sand using the land bit we're just gonna go like that it doesn't matter how all i don't want to do hopefully I've done it okay. Let's have a look. So we see. Oof, oof, only just. Just didn't want this bit to show, but a tiny little bit does. So I'll let myself off for that. Let myself off. Okay. So we go back with the grass, the reeds, the whatever they are. Like so. And I'm just I'm just gonna because I'm not over it, I've I'm just going to just go over that again because it just wasn't right to the edge. Okay. That's that, and I now got ink all over. <laughs> Can't do anything, me, without getting ink everywhere. Right, so we need actually need the soft suede again for the sentiment, and the sentiment is from 
Charming Sentiment, which is a carryover. And we're going to be using Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays. It's quite a versatile stamp set, this. It's got some really nice sentiment. You've got your thank yous, your congratulations, just for you. Good luck. Just your basic. Then you've got your hey there. Woohoo! Um, everything will be okay. So tiny, so precious. Wishing you everything wonderful because you totally deserve it. What's new? Faith over fear. Super fantastic mega news. Babies are a blessing. It's got quite a lot of stamps there. <laughs> stamps in their sentiments. So quite a useful. It's a useful stamp set. Okay, so I'm just going to mount this up. See if I can get ink everywhere again. I say I'm lethal. I haven't put it on straight. So I'm just going to ink that up with a soft suede. And here goes. I just can't see what I'm doing. I'm not right over it. This is one thing I don't like when I'm demonstrating on the live. If it's on the wonk, I apologise. We've always got that emergency side. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll go with it. Right. That is our stamping done. So now we're going to put the card together. I'll just move my mat out. My scrap out. Monty's decided to go to sleep in the corner. He's not showing his face this week. And Dinky's wandered off. Right. So we'll pop the inside together. First of all. I hate it when I get ink everywhere. Never mind. So that piece is for the inside. And just for a... I know it's not a mega difficult fun fold, but it is very attractive. I'll just centering that up and I love these colours together Crumb Cake, Coastal, Cabana and White okay set that and film folder right so we'll pop these on here just going to go around that because just a tip, if you've cut it and it's got a bit of a rough edge, just go over it with your um, bone folder and it will just flatten it down. It's a quick and easy one tonight. I couldn't have done with couldn't have dealt with anything difficult tonight. <laughs> anything I had to think about. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll pop that on the side. Okay, and then we have this piece, which the image. Okay, the image will go on there. So 
to them again. No dimensional this week. Hey. Oh yeah, so am I, Renee. I love I love Coastal Cabana. I really do. I really am a bluey girl. I can't wait to see the new colours though. My order, I'm still waiting for my order, so I'll be giddy as a giddy thing when it comes. <laughs> it's nice to see them. I mean, obviously we've seen them, but not in real life. <laughs> it's nice to see them in real life. Okay, so this piece is going on the front. Like so. So what you've got to remember is when you take this off, we only need it on the left side as we as it's facing us. So if I turn that over, it's the right side. So we only need glue on this side. We don't want to stick our card together. Okay, so when we turn that back, it's going to be on the left side. And... I'm just eyeballing it to stick that down. Oh, Mr. Shiz is fishing. Oh, bless him. Biggie fish. Nice one. Oh, well done. Well done, Andrew. Well done. <laughs> oh, I like that. What do you think to him? The colours, Shaz. Um, you know what have I done with that? Oh, here we go. And then, this is where you just, you'll laugh at me. I am not good at tying bows. <laughs> right. So, this is Coastal Cabana twine i'm not sure if this is still available actually now it's in the mini catalog um that was on some things are on sale coastal cabana garden green and pumpkin pie those are the colors you get in this pack you adore all the new color oh good nice one I just can't wait to get hold of him. <laughs> right. Don't laugh at me much, please. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Right, so this twine is roughly... Let's have a look. 15. It's just over, it's about 32 centimetres. Okay, so I'm using two fingers and I'm popping a little bit at the edge, like so. I'm going to wrap it round. Hang on, let me do it a bit. That's it. Wrap it round two and a half times. I'm going to come through with that. This is the bit that I can't do. Come on, you can do it. And then we're going to tie it off. Say, so I'm all fingers and thumbs. I'm useless at anything like this. Useless. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's do it. 
like so. Tell you, Izzy will be sat there howling at me. Done it again. <laughs> it takes me forever. Come on, Lorna. I should have made it a bit longer, really, shouldn't I? Come on. We can do it. Live on air, we've got to be able to do it. Yes. No. <laughs> I think I've got it tied and then it goes. Try again. Try again. No. <gasps> Told you, didn't I? <laughs> I knew you'd be laughing. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. I did it in class eventually. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Look, 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 look. I should have made it a bit longer, as I said. Look, go through there. Double knot. Double knot, double knot. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. There we go. See, we're not perfect at everything. Totally not perfect at everything. This is one of my worst nightmares. And I haven't done it very well not now. Hey, never mind. <laughs> I made a right ash of it. All right then, let's see if I can do it this way. Now I've tied it. Right, okay, so there's an emergency side. She says, it's supposed to be, it's not really a bow, it's more of a wrap round three times and tie. Don't ask me. Oh dear. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Anybody watching this video will just laugh their heads off. There we go. And I'll do it one more time. Oh, I'll be right. Sod it. <laughs> it can stay like that. Look, we've got we've got three loops. That's the main thing. And this is going to go like so on there. It's not as good as that one. <laughs> Oh dear, oh, I don't know. I could do embroidery, yeah. <laughs> I just can't, I just can't type those. <laughs> oh dear, right, so we're going to stick it on. Now I've bored you. <laughs> With a glue dot on the back and I've got kitty glitter in that as well, I can see. Sure, I thought Monty. We're just going to stick that like so. There we go. We've done it. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm terrible. Those are my nemesis and anything like that is, I just, I just can't. I just can't. Right. So there we have our card using the ocean front stamp set i just think it's a lovely it's colorful really colorful um card i mean if you really really wanted you could um we could have masked this and had a had a sun or a moon Done it a darker blue, had a moon. Um, no doubt that'll come because it's staying in the catalogue. So I'll be using it again. Absolutely love it. But yeah, it's just a fairly simple, simple stamping. There's no designer series paper. We've made our own. So it's just a very simple card. 
but yet yeah, very effective so yes so that is that's everything tonight crikey it's quarter to nine it's not like me i'm usually here while all hours <laughs> but i will show you i'll just show you izzy and i went shopping the other day and i've just got to show you gotta find it now look you know me and me and my little my little friends this is a pencil case that izzy bought me for my birthday i think it was last year but when we was out look what i found i got a little it's a propelling pencil i had to have that with a matching mini stapler look little paws i had to have that <laughs> and we got a matching ruler as well i am so sad so sad when it comes to cats i just love them to pieces but yeah we had fun we had fun love going around the um stationery shop <laughs> all good fun right we'll stop waffling i haven't decorated an envelope but you could easily decorate an envelope as we've done here in the corner so there you go right so we will love you and leave you and we shall be back next tuesday um not quite sure what we're going to be doing yet next tuesday hopefully something fairly simple i've got a class next week so i've got to prepare for that as well so um yeah we'll think of something we might even have a go at a box for a change in fact we might do that we'll go with the box so i'll get my thinking cap on and see what we can make hopefully if my um um order comes i might be able to look at i think i've only ordered one stamp set but we've got loads of new colors so we'll have a play hopefully fingers crossed it comes <laughs> you don't show me matt yours oh chris just send me a picture privately then i'd love to see it <laughs> love to see it right okie dokie so we're back next tuesday um i will work the uh measurements out for letter sized card um and i shall it'll be in the description on youtube my YouTube video will go live on Thursday evening. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll put a notification, a notification out to let you know. So, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it muchly. And if you're watching on Catch Up, thank you very much. And if you're on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, um, if you enjoy what you see, give us a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um, and hit that notification button if you want to be notified when i do more videos right well thank you very much there's been no cat he's still asleep on the on the side so uh, he's not showing his face this week bless him he will do when i've finished he'll come and mob me <laughs> so we'll love you and leave you and we'll catch you next week Thank you very much. Bye.